Yo, what's good people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a dark synth style beat for Travis Scott. I'll be showing you some go-to plugins, some cool effects, and a drum bounce that isn't drill for once. So let's get straight into it. All right, so for the BPM, I've got it set to 155 for now. We can always change it. And for the plugin, the main thing I'm going to be using is Scorch. This plugin was literally made for Travis Scott type melodies, so it's a perfect one to use. It was my guy Jacob that released it with Sourceware, and the video isn't sponsored or anything, but I do have an affiliate link for this one. So if you like the sounds, then check the link in the description. So yeah, let's start off with some kind of keys. I like these. Oh, that sounds pretty sick. Could just start with a simple chord. Let's change the rhythm a bit. Maybe repeat that. And then we could come down to G sharp. Actually, maybe this instead. Kind of like this. Quite a catchy melody. Try this. I'm feeling that. I know it's not sounding that dark, but what I'm planning on doing is starting with something like this and then it's gonna flip into something dark. So I'll create a whole new melody for that. I think I wanna layer that too. So I'm gonna clone Scorch. I'll just grab some more keys. That sounds pretty sick. I'm just gonna copy that melody in. Mm. Yeah, maybe there. So I'm just kind of planning ahead. This will be like an intro, and then when it drops, I just want some hard, dark shit. Let's see what else I can find. Maybe some kind of guitar. Let's push this one down, press Alt and A. I'll leave it like that for now, but then I want to mess with it. Like that. that sounds kind of sick. And then maybe some half time on that one too. Let's pitch it back up an octave. Like that. Feeling this organ sound as well. And for this one, I'm just going to record a simple pattern in. Alright, last thing this section needs is a sub bass, and then I'm going to start something new. I know Scorch has some sick subs as well, so there's definitely going to be something in here. Mmm, something like that. It's going to take the lows out of those melodies though, so I can just group them together, grab an EQ, just take them out about there, and then just find the right sub. Let's make it a bit more intense with Decapitator though. Or we could use one of the bass presets. I think pitch it up an octave, but maybe apart from this one. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer this one actually. I'm just going to boost that bass a bit. Right there. Then add some reverb to some of the sounds. Let's get some delay on that guitar as well. Gonna take out a bit more of the high end of the sub bass too. Yeah, I'm feeling this now. Okay, and then on that melody, before the drop, I'm gonna use a trick that my guy Jacob showed me. So if you pull up Fruity Delay 3, set it to Tempo Sync, the time to two. You want the feedback up here. I've got it in stereo mode with the offset up. And now I'm just gonna create an automation with the wet level. I'm just gonna bring it down. And then from about here, we'll bring it up, maybe to about there. I'll actually create another point because then after this, it's gonna stop completely. So all this tension builds up and then it releases. So right now I need to think of another melody. So for this one, I want something darker. 
I just want to switch the mood because it sounds like it could be something chilled and then when it gets to this drop, I want hard drums to come in and some kind of dark melody. Could start with the same sound, so. So to keep it dark, we don't want to change the chord too much. So we could just start with this. Sounds hard. Hmm. Simple melody. I'm actually going to grab another instrument. Hmm. This pad sounds sick. I think just one note. I want to lay those keys with something else. Could try in one of these. I think we need another layer of keys just to thicken up the main melody. Mmm. Yeah, these sound hard. Maybe we could get some portal on this too. Could even pitch it up an octave. I like that, you know. I'm going to try it with a sub bass as well. We'll get a different one for this one. Thinking Analog Lab, we'll go to my Aurora Drill Bank. Just one note for now. I've opened Analog Lab again, still using my Aurora Drill Bank. And I want to add these Goodubs keys. And I'm just going to record these in. Alright, cool. I think I can actually take those and copy them up in Octave 2. I'm just going to add some RC20. It's kind of detuned. Then I'm going to take those keys and render them. Because I think they might sound better reversed. We could try anyway. But we just need to cut it every time a chord changes. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, that might be better, you know. I'm just adding tremolator to those other keys too. So I think more than anything, I just want this. Some high drums, it'll sound mad. Let's try it anyway, so I'm just going to split that pattern. I'll copy that over. Let's just grab some drums in anyway. Start with this shadow snare. And I think I could layer it. Try to bite one. This is all from my Trap Lords drum kit too. We'll grab my essential hat. And let's just think of a bounce. Just getting a basic bounce down for now because I still want to mess with the melody a bit. I'm going to take the Goliath 8 away. It's got some nice distortion in this one. Maybe we could do this. Yeah, that's hard. Let's copy that. We could slide these up octaves as well. I just want some movement in the bass. I think just one octave. I'm just gonna move that forward because I want to add a kick too. And I'll just bring the attack up. Then I'll just make sure all the notes are joint with control and L. Liking the bounce so far. Let's grab an open hat too. Let's 
grab the ninja one. We'll just add some delay to that. I'm gonna add comeback kid. And this is just so it messes with the delayed open hats. Turn on ping pong mode as well. Let's grab a perk loop as well. Try something like this. Yeah, mad. Let's try a layer another one, but on this one, we're gonna add half time. And then we'll add an EQ and just filter out some of the low end. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the hats now. I'll just spice these up a bit with some rolls. Okay, I wanna get some effect tricks on those hats as well. I think just something like that to start with. Okay, in one section, I also wanna add this base I designed. It's kind of similar to the one in sickle mode. So I'm just going to copy the 808 and we'll make this a bit simpler. I've also just brought in this sickle mode snare and I think I'm going to use that one instead just to make it more Travis Scott style. I'm also just simplifying the hatch a bit. Just giving it more space. Alright, I'm thinking we add some vocals to this one as well. Not too many, I'm just thinking a couple one shots from Exhale. Yeah, I'm thinking just this one note. Yeah, that's all it needs. Okay, let's get some reverb on the hat as well. And then I think the snare too. Maybe plate reverb. Okay, I just want to add one last thing to the melody. I'm thinking some bells because I hear a lot of bells in Travis Scott beats. We can just take that same MIDI. This preset sounds sick. Okay, what's wrong with that? I'm gonna add growth speed. I will just select the reverse. And then I'm just gonna render this just because it adds a delay at the beginning. So I'm gonna bring that back. Let's go to stretch. We'll just pitch it up an octave. I think we could double time it as well. Yeah, I'm thinking I can just include this in one part, just to build up some energy. I think that might be all the layers I need now, so I'm going to do a quick structure. I think I want that 808 first, and then it can change to this one. Let's just see how it transitions. I kind of like it, because you wouldn't expect it. And then, yeah, this next section can come in like this. All right, and then just something new in this part here. Maybe the bells. Yeah, that sounds kind of hard. Then I'm thinking we could get this delay in again. Yeah, hard. Okay, I'm thinking we need just one more section where it all pitches up an octave. So what I'm gonna do is just add sound shifter, pitch this up an octave. And then we'll just render that to make it easier. Got rid of everything else. We'll just add an EQ, take out some of that harshness. Then I'm just gonna add Spaced Out by Baby Audio. And just this clean start preset. And then I'm thinking this reverse textures preset. So yeah, we'll just automate that. Maybe we'll take the kick out of this part. Yeah. It's like a nice breakdown. So I brought everything over. I think we had the sub bass here too. And then in this section, we can have this. And then this can be the breakdown. So yeah, from there, we just copied everything over and I've pretty much finished the beat now. So let's have a listen from the beginning. So I started off with a completely different melody. I just didn't want people to expect a drop.
thought about adding more to the melody, but I think this is enough, man. I can hear vocals on this easily. So I added the eight weight back in here and just saved this up for this section. So yeah, if you're feeling this video and you want to see me cook up my trap, click up here. Or to see me cook up my drill, click up here.